hello and welcome to another video now those who have already uh, watching my channel for a while they might have guessed what this is and those who are new to this channel for them this is actually the digital clock that uh, i was discussing in my uh, previous video so in the previous video we have seen how we can use one of these uh, chrono dot rtc modules with arduino and on another video we have seen how we can use this standalone arduino uh, microcontrollers now obviously uh, i will be using max 7219 led driver ic's to drive these leds so for that also i have made another video on how we can use these max 7219 with Arduino to control these seven segment LEDs. Now, in this video, I will be uh, making the uh, final construction of this digital clock, and then I will be uh, shouldering the rest of the components. So, here I have the uh, RTC module, the microcontroller, two Max 7219, because obviously one can dry. 8 LEDs and here we have in total 16 LEDs so I need two of these then I have this uh, micro USB breakout board which uh, I will be using to uh, power this clock so I have already uh, shouldered a few wires of these LEDs uh, to this board to hold the LEDs in position and uh, then I will be uh, shouldering the IC basis to the uh, PCB and uh, after that I will be uh, uploading the sketch to the microcontroller. So uh, I will be doing the shouldering and then I will come back. So here I have completed uh, shouldering all the display units into the board and I have also shouldered these LED drivers along with the microcontroller on the back of the board. Now here you can see I have also added two capacitors uh, so that if there is any noise from the power source, this should not uh, impact the uh, running of this microcontroller. So I have added two of these uh, capacitors, one at the near the micro USB port and another one close to the power supply of this microcontroller and along with these uh, electrolytic capacitors i have added uh, ceramic capacitors also so that uh, these do not interfere with the emi now for programming this microcontroller i have also added these connectors uh, so that i can program it from the uart programmer like these ftdi module i have so using this i can uh, easily program this microcontroller anytime if i need to change it and i have also shouldered this uh chrono dot rtc ds3231 module into into this board and uh, here you can see i have uh, fitted a battery which is a little small than the size of this battery holder because i couldn't find the exact match so i have to uh, go with this smaller one but anyway it should work fine i have also installed these uh, for standoff so that uh, when i uh, flip it the microcontroller should not be touching the uh, ground or mat so that it should not catch any kind of noise so uh, now i want this uh, board to be programmed using my code that i have made so before going to the code i want to uh, show the schematic diagram of uh, this circuit so here you, you can see in your screen the schematic of the led displays with the max 7219 and uh, both of these are daisy chained to receive data from the microcontroller so the data actually comes to the first chip and then it uh, goes out to the uh, second chip so actually we are sending uh, 16 bits of data at a time so that uh, both the display should be multiplexed at the same time so uh, you if you want to download this uh, 
a schematic pdf i will uh, put a link in the description so you can uh, go to my website and from there you can download the pdf of this schematic so here i am at the arduino ide and the code that i have uh, written here so i will just explain the code in brief so that i can uh, jump into the uh, programming part so first of all we have uh, declared the libraries then the rtc library i have used and for max 7219 i have not used any library i will be using it using the uh, basic hardware spi so i won't be using any kind of libraries here so first of all we have uh, defined the uh, data pin clock pin and the chip select pin so 12 is the data pin 11 is the chip select and 10 of arduino is the clock pin so these 12 11 and 10 these are the pins of arduino now if you are using this microcontroller with arduino bootloader this should work fine then we have the display mode register at 0f then shutdown register 0c decode mode register 09 intensity register 0a scan limit register 0b now these are all taken from the data sheet and I, I don't want to go in detail into these because i have already one video i will put a link in the card so you can go and watch that video if you want the details of the max 7219 then we have uh, defined a variable for the temperature we have a temperature sensor inside this max ds3231 so uh, we can use that then i have defined a string so that i can store the data and then i can uh, convert that into digits so that it can be easy to display and i have the digit code one variable digit code that i will be using to switch between the digits so in the setup we have first defined a function void initialize so i have written the code to initialize the uh, microcontroller with the proper settings for max 7219 so uh, first of all we have to uh, keep the chip select pin high in order to to drive the leds and then i have uh, defined the data pin chip select and clock as the output pins i have already uh, uh, set these display mode shutdown mode decode mode intensity and scan limit these all modes are uh, explained in my other video where i explained in details about the max 7219 now these are sent twice so that uh, the hardware spi of 80 mega 3 to 8 can only send 8 bits at a time so we have to actually send two bytes in different steps so first this one is for the first byte and the second byte for the second chip so we have two chips in daisy chained manner so it will be sending data in steps of one byte so we have two times the same data so that both the chips should have the same settings now if you want to change the intensity or the brightness of the leds you have to change this value of intensity register i have set this to 0f which is the maximum brightness and obviously with the uh, help of data sheet of max 7219 you can get different values of intensity so it's actually a uh, value starting from 0 to uh, f in hex then we have the scan limit which actually uh, defines how many digits are connected so we are actually using total 16 digits so both the chips are at maximum scan limit that is eight digits and eight digits so in total we have 16 digits then we have the function called void out so this out is actually a function which will take the address byte the data byte again a address byte and a data byte so two address bytes and two data bytes it can take so inside this void out i have uh, defined the code so that i can uh, use these four lines using the function out so it will be sending the 
address one data one then address two data two so that both the chips can work together then we have inside the loop the uh, date time now equals rtc dot now which will get the date and time and all the data from the rtc chip via the i squared c line then uh, here i am actually converting the uh, time and date whatever we are getting into a single digits so you may go through these codes in detail you will uh, understand just we are converting the digits so that it can be uh, easily displayed into the seven segment display now after converting these and uh, saving these into the string as you can as i have explained earlier that i have defined a string of 16 digits so here you can see up from 0 to 15 we have all the digits inside the string called my underscore str then after calculating these values we have uh, the function called out that will uh, take the first byte as address then second byte as the data now for the data i will be using another function digits so what digits will do it will take the string value and then it will uh, send to this function digits and then it will convert the digit into a hex code so it will return a hex code that will be replaced by this function called digit and hence it will be sent to the max 7219 then the same step is repeated for all the digits so that's basically uh, what is going on inside this code so now it's time to upload the sketch so let's first compile the sketch and yes it's done compiling so i will just connect the ftdi so here i have made all the connections now i will connect the usb port and i have to select the correct board that is arduino uno com3 and let's upload the sketch and the clock is running so at this point it is 9 57 so the time is correct it's 25th june so the date is also correct and the temperature is around 32 degrees celsius now uh, in the camera i think it's not visible because of the lights so i will just dim the lights so here you can see a much more clear view of uh, the clock now if i just want to reduce the uh, brightness i can do that by changing the value of brightness register so i have to change only the value of brightness register so i will set this to say five so for both the uh, max 7219 i have to select the values and then i will compile and upload So LEDs are flashing and it's uploading. So now you can see uh, clearly the brightness has a little bit reduced. So we can uh, adjust the brightness as per our need and I am happy with this brightness. It looks uh, pretty cool. So I will just keep it like this for now. So that's basically it for the video. If you like the project, please give me a thumbs up and uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel i will be uh, making videos uh, like this and uh, some other projects are also ongoing so please subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video